Have you ever updated your profile somewhere in Microsoft 365 and then noticed your new name isn't showing up in Outlook or Teams? This can be confusing for many small business users and school admins. Today, I'm going to explain why that happens, what the display name is, who can change it, and I will guide you through the steps to update it so changes appear everywhere across your organization. My name is Carlos and I help small businesses around the world with their Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace subscription. For more information, visit itwithcarlos.com. First, let's clarify what your display name is. It is the full name that appears when you send emails, join Teams meetings, or collaborate in SharePoint. These names help others quickly recognize who you are across the Microsoft 365 apps. Now, you might try to change your name directly inside Teams or Outlook, but those apps actually get your display name from a central directory, Azure Active Directory, and only the administrators can update it there. This is why you might change your profile picture or About Me information, but your name still doesn't update. If you are not an administrator, you won't be able to change it yourself. You will need to request to change it from your admin. So, why does Microsoft restrict this to admins? It is mainly for security, consistency, and compliance. Allowing anyone to change their name could create confusions and make it harder to verify identities, especially in larger organizations or schools. Here is how the admin can change the display name. We access the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. We can use the URL admin.microsoft.com. On the left, we click on Show All to expand the menu, click on Users, Active Users. On the right, we select the user we want to update its name. Then we scroll down a little bit and we click Manage Contact Information. And here we have it, Display Name. Once we updated the display name, we click on Save Changes. And that's it. Within a few minutes, the updated name should appear in Outlook, Teams, SharePoint, and other Microsoft 365 apps. If the old name is still showing after some time, ask the user to sign out and back into their apps, or clear the cache. This often helps the update appear faster. Also, make sure your names are entered correctly and suitable for all audiences, since they will be visible across the organization. And that's how display names work in Microsoft 365. If you are a user, now you understand why you can't always change it yourself. If you are an admin, you have the exact steps to update it quickly and accurately. If you found this helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to IT with Carlos for more tips on Microsoft 365 and Google Workspace. Have questions or video ideas? Share them in the comments. I would be happy to help. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one. Remember, stay secure in the cloud and keep tech savvy.